Hello, guys. Hope you can hear me. Microphone works. I'm gonna check the broadcast. Yes, it works. Okay. So trolls are still attacking, you know. I'm telling people I'm working, I'm busy with my stuff, and I have a line of videos that I should make, you know. You know, I even have videos in Kremlin already, so even the, the videos with the uh, seven floors underground in the Kremlin, you know. But, you know, these guys try to, you know, pull me to the conversation about Fomenko and Nasovsky because I commented in one video that they were government agents and I don't trust them. Why do I say like this, you know? Well, let's start with the alarm clock, you know. What is the alarm clock for? It's for waking the people up. And that's why I respect those guys because they were very nice alarm clock, you know, very nice alarm clock because people like figured something's wrong, right? So like they start to waken up. So if we grade them as an alarm clock we grade them um a plus a plus or you know 100 percent 100 percent working alarm clock but when you wake up you know you start you know finding something to eat you know you go around you check out you know what's going on you know you you, you were sleeping right so you like figure out the world again and again and you like start thinking you know you find some other people not only alarm clock is your friend now so you find some other people who are also wake up woke up you start talking to them you find some other respected opinion leaders maybe even as great as those who were waking you up or maybe even better more talented more genius and you like you know you fell in love you know you start uh working out with another material you start reading you start you know watching videos of different authors that's what you do when you start when you woke up you know so is it a bad thing not to follow the alarm clock all your life when you woke up no it's not because you woke up Alarm clock work. Thanks a lot, Alarm clock. See you later. I'm going to do my own research, right? Right. So that's why I encourage people to do their own research. Don't listen to me. Just do your own research and that's it. So do your own videos. If you want to debunk it, debunk it. So we have a constructive something. Like if you will say like you're full of crap, no, give me um, a time code of my video and give me a time code of uh, the video that debunks my video or something like that's so like you saying we show we all show in the same pictures which were debunked by this guy give me the time code of this video when we see it i'm talking to you guys you are the critics you you're, you're welcome here in fact because i want to construct these critics now not just you know personal um attacks so about fomenka and Nosovsky. so i found that guy um like in 2005 i think 2006 this this guy was also backing up the theory of uh aryan vidas or we had this church in my hometown which i was from so i'm so familiar with this you know slavic aryan vidas thing so it's like a whole bunch of bigger stories so we, we shouldn't like stop on this right now but you know pretty much at the same time in parallel universe or whatever you call it uh we had famenka and nasovsky who were you know continuing their hype because they got a hype on this you know they got a hype they they were you know greeting many tv shows and you know people starting you know interviewing him they saw that and they they got a bunch of bunch of interviews you know you can watch them on youtube so they had a bunch of um so-called author uh reader meetings when a bunch of their readers the guys who read their books you know met with them and they have a specific questions in fact so uh i watched a couple of them and you know probably they're boring but to debunk them you have to have those books you know so if we have to prove somebody 
uh, look, those guys are trying to lie. We have to show the books. It's like what I said about my videos. Just give me the page or give me the, you know, specific chapter or specific time code, like in my videos where this or that dude lies, right? So this is the debunking impact. But we cannot do it right now because I don't have this book, right, that I read because I left it on my previous uh, house like a couple of years ago, maybe five or six. I left all my books that were, you know, I didn't like them. So I left all those books because they were stupid. They were, you know, having the bad resumes and all this stuff. And in fact, they had lies inside. So uh, I cut off many authors that I read before the 2010. So like before 2010, I was a whole bunch of another person. I believed a whole bunch of other things. So when I got acquainted with Fomenko and Nisovsky, I was that person. And I liked them first, like everybody else. But when the information was coming, we started to get this information about what who they are, what they are. It's not like, you know, simple information. You have to leave this. You have to leave there and know those people and then you figure out what what the heck was going on so they uh you know they were teaching famenka was a teach uh, was a professor or whatever you call it in the russian state university of moscow which is one of the best universities in moscow is what we have so it's like the most prestigious university i'm not saying that how much money people pay to get there how much you know corruption is there i don't i'm not saying that in 90s and 80s it was like you know the best place uh to have a dream you know so if you study there so it's like wow man really are you studying there man you must have paid a bunch of money to those guys and in fact you have because people were paying a bunch of money to get there and all those professors, they were working there and earning money on students because students have to pass the test, students have to exam, students have to, you know, a bunch of things. So it's like a whole bunch of corruption in 90s. I was work, I was studying in um, since 1996 to 2000. So it's like four years, five years, right? Uh, and I know this information. I was in a different institute, but the system is everywhere so it's like we know uh how these things work so i'm not saying they were totally corrupt but most of them were and if you if you were a professor or somebody who's you know has like uh, student classes which you you assign in the grades you probably had a bunch of situations when they gave you some bribes and all this stuff so i'm not saying anything right now about this but so you can get the situation. This is corrupt, 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 corrupt place. Everybody's there. Most of those people got there uh, for the bribes. And yeah, yeah, they had some brilliant researchers. And Fomenko was brought to Academy of Science as an academic before for his math, uh, for his math research. But after he signed all those information about fake history and falsified history, he got even almost excluded. So they, they wanted to you know, kick him out about this stuff. So, but then somebody changed their mind. So, and they left him. Hmm. And since that period, Fomenka stopped printing those books and printing those books and printing new books. And they are like, you know, they have all this one idea through those books. And this idea doesn't match with my reality, in fact. So, um, Let's start with another guy who was trying to say something like this. He was not saying about concrete, you know, uh, page or chapter, but he said his own thing. I'm going to show you this guy. He was murdered a couple of years ago, as they say, and his wife also was murdered. But, well, let me show you this dude. His name is Nick. Nikolai Livashov. Uh, let's see. Yep, 
hear this video. I'm not sure why it's not playing right now. So he's like also a big author in uh, Russian research before the 2010. And I was, you know, influenced by his thinking. So he's like saying that he was trying to uh, print a book with a whole bunch of maps. And he was saying it like this on the press conference or a meeting with his readers. And um, he said, I want to make a book with all those maps, real maps, because I have some maps and I want to print this book. And like a couple of months passed, in fact, like eight months, he says. So um, he like, you know, figured that Fomenko already printed this book. And he like looked, take, took a look at that book, and he found that the resume on the, in this book is just you know opposite to what it was, you know. So they started matching the uh, matching the maps because they had most of the of the maps from this book, and figured that most of the maps were edited or falsified. So uh, that is the question that he was asking his readers here. Why did they falsify it? Because probably somebody talked to them and uh, they engaged in this game of uh, lies just to stay in the university, as just to stay in the careers because they were on the risk of losing everything. Because in fact, we have a bunch of debunkings from the official uh, Russian science. So why are they still kept in science if everybody in science like this is official debunking from the Russian Academy of Science. So just ask yourself, why are they still there? Just if you won't understand uh, any um, any information that is not uh, valid, according even to their methods and research, read this debunking in the Russian. I mean, you have to translate it in English and just, you know, read it. And you understand that pretty much uh, all the methods that they had were debunked by the official science. So why are they still in science? I mean, they're okay for a wake-up call, but the resume and the comments that they make are sometimes hilarious. So it's like, I don't know, like any facts that you can read from this official science debunking are also you know very funny like they're using the stars catalog almagesta from the ancient times but uh, it has like coordinates of uh more than a thousand uh, bright stars and so and they like you know used it the wrong way and even these the guys who were given this catalog to them said this so it's like they like see the stars in the catalog and they add some information and just you know make it false so it's like officials keep them as fake everybody knows this fake in like uh the moscow physics uh the gordetsky from the same university also claimed that they were wrong and uh he was like tracing all the same operations and they brought him to the 10th century just as them but like they were using only 14 the bright stars of almagesta and so it was wrong because it had more stars and they just used the stars that were com com compatible to what they wanted to get as a, as a date so you know it's like you have to do the same thing that they did to figure out what they were wrong. But this doesn't mean that they were wrong at the wake up. Wake up was perfect, man. So it's like, I really uh, don't criticize the people that, you know, follow in their research. But they made so many books with total nonsense. And, you know, when they figure out who is actually the uh the nasovsky the other guy who is uh, the partner of amanda he is the uh the member of the church uh, the, the, not the orthodox church but the, uh, the pre-orthodox church so-called old orthodox church and those guys from this orthodox church also told him dude you were wrong so you like have to admit and uh, refuse 
from what you say. So they talked to him and a bunch of people talked to them. So they could have been, you know, changing their minds and starting printing all this nonsense because it's in favor of some you know, concept. You, you, you want to ask me what is the concept? Like you, you want to know uh, how the officials work uh, out with all this PSYOPs information. So it's like they make up the information in certain um, calendars, calendar plans. So like um, they find some researchers who are working on some certain, uh, certain objects, certain research, certain topics, and they lead them to certain thinking. So they like use them uh like a puppet you know so they fund them or not fund them uh, aiming them towards some goal specific information giving them some specific edited information and stuff like this so they working on this falsification and they started working during the ussr period when they were trying to debunk the official western paradigm of history and they did a good job because while touching all this new fake chronology stuff they mostly debunked this western uh dating all this stuff that it was you know changed after 700 1700s so it's like very good research but it was funded by the ussr and in and this this is where we see the purpose so they were making um the research that they could be using uh, in fact uh, against the history so it's like a war in history and after the union was broken, so the Soviet Union was fallen, and uh, they didn't know what to do. So they started to continue and try to, you know, write those books. Probably they they were succeeding in this because it was a great time uh, to start something new, some new research. Everybody was welcoming these new researchers because, you know, it's really, it's not just yellow press information. It's not a sensational information. It's just, you know, unbelievable information sometimes, but it sounded good for first, you know, first time, maybe for when you get acquainted, but when you, you know, get deeper, you understand that something is wrong, something's wrong because mathematicians are making conclusions on fake historical uh, facts that they are debunking. Uh, okay, they have logics, but who is telling them the paradigm? Who is telling them how to interpret this or that? Because they, they are looking at the same documents officials are looking, and they try to interpret it their own way, as the officials say. But we kind of like it because they debunk an official theory. That's why we believe them. That's why they are opinion leaders to us. But did we actually research the same thing that they did did we actually use the same methods? No, we did not. And we have this still this question again. Why are they still in science, guys? Why are they still in science? Why nobody kicked them out? And they're still working on the same positions, earning the same money, teaching the same students, although everybody else knows they're fake and everybody else is debunking them. And thinking of them as a fake science, fake falsifying scientific research. This is what they call them. And it's just a whole commission of different scientists know it. So how can you do it? It's only because you earn a bunch of money while printing your books because they're best selling in this category of history, alternative history. So a bunch of people buying these books like the Tsar of Slavins, like with the Jesus Christ on the, on the cover. I think you would like to buy it if you knew Russian. Maybe they have an English version and they sell it in English. So it's like making money industry. So they cannot stop it, I think. I think they have, you know, they got used to this money flow from these books sell. And they just printing those books like a crazy printer, you know. Making stuff up and, you know, following the paradigm that they, you know, were followed by those who were talking to them after they started this research, you know. They told them what to do and they're doing it. Okay, so this is my point of view. 
uh, when I get, as soon as I get a couple of books of those guys uh, in my hands, I would make a specific video, a specific video with, you know, with facts that they are wrong. And, and um, I'm gonna, you know, put a page number, a chapter number, whatever, and, you know, screenshot what, what, what the hell is going on in their books, you know, and what I'm not agreeing with. And in fact, they don't, they don't, you know, follow the mud flood theory. So this is what I also don't like. So everybody that's not following the mud flood theory is like um, under a big suspicion because they're like supposed to be the, you know, the leaders of the movement, but they're not. They got, they got stuck in this book printing stuff. So they got stuck in this money-making industry. Okay. Hope you people like this short video. Um, if you guys in the book, in, in, in the groups that are following the new chronology, it's, it's okay, research it, do your own research. I, I said my own opinion. I, I, I have some facts that, you know, making uh, me think this way. So it's like, I, I try to describe it this way. So as soon as I get some books, I'll get more time on it. And, you know, I find those pages, I find those chapters it will cost me a little uh, time and uh, attention, of course. But, you know, making the video is a hard job. So I chose this job and I do it on my professional level because I have a bunch of channels. Not This, this is not the only one, as you, as you know. So thanks a lot for following and thanks a lot for being patient. All the trolls are welcome with constructive critics. Since this day, I'm going to be, you know, banning you and delete me from comments. So you will not be able to comment anymore from the account you already been seen as a troll. So thanks a lot for watching. See you later. Bye.